Hello everybody. Welcome back to Learner Attraction. In this lesson, we're going to look at more common learner mistakes in English, and how to correct them. Lesson 2 Don't say the number of students are increasing. Say the number of students is increasing. Don't say a number of students is planning to go abroad. Say a number of students are planning to go abroad. Don't say the police is looking for him. Say the police are looking for him. More examples. The number of days in a week is seven. There were a number of doctors in the room. The police are appealing to the public for any information about the missing girl. The number of, plus plural noun, plus singular verb. A number of, plus plural noun, plus plural verb. The police plus plural verb. Police is a plural noun. Do not say a police. Say a police officer, a policeman, or a policewoman. Don't say, try to reduce the number of fat in your diet. Say, try to reduce the amount of fat in your diet. Don't say he paid regular numbers of money to a charity. Say he paid regular amounts of money to a charity. Don't say an amount of members were absent. Say a number of members were absent. Don't say the call center handles a huge amount of complaints every day. Say the call center handles a huge number of complaints every day. The, or an amount of, plus uncountable noun, plus singular verb. The amount of car crime seems to be on the increase. A large amount of money is required. Amounts of, plus uncountable noun, plus plural verb. Small amounts of land were used for keeping animals. Small amounts of asphalt have been sent to the United States. The number of, plus plural countable noun, plus singular verb. A number of, plus plural countable noun, plus plural verb. The number of police officers has increased enormously during the past 10 years. The number of people claiming unemployment benefit has risen sharply this month. A number of students are planning to go abroad. Don't say he was found guilty for manslaughter. Say he was found guilty of manslaughter. Manslaughter, is the crime of killing someone illegally, but not deliberately. Don't say the jury found her guilty for murder. Say the jury found her guilty of murder. More examples. She was found guilty of fraud. Fraud is the crime of deceiving people in order to gain something, such as money or goods. Some journalists are guilty of reporting scandal in order to sell papers. Tom knew that he was guilty of lying. This government is guilty of much talk and little action. The little girl was guilty of breaking the vase but wouldn't admit it. Do not say, guilty for. Say, guilty of. Feel guilty about, means to feel ashamed, and sad because one has done something wrong. I feel really guilty about forgetting her birthday again. I was feeling a bit guilty about having shouted at her. I feel guilty about leaving you here all on your own. She feels guilty about neglecting her duty. Don't say the reason is because I love her. Say the reason is that I love her. Don't say the reason I came late was because I overslept. Say the reason I came late was that I overslept. Don't say the reason I walked out was because I was bored. Say the reason I walked out was that I was bored. The reason is, or was, plus noun, that clause, to infinitive, or, adjective. The reason why the economy is growing more slowly is a lack of workers. The reason for the disaster was engine failure, not human error. The main reason she quit was that she was not being paid enough. 
The reason why we need these laws is to protect children from violent adults. The real reason we weren't getting along wasn't so simple. Don't say people give different reasons of wanting to change jobs. Say people give different reasons for wanting to change jobs. Don't say one of the main reasons because she looks so good is that she has her own personal stylist. Say one of the main reasons why she looks so good is that she has her own personal stylist. Or, one of the main reasons that she looks so good is that she has her own personal stylist. Or, one of the main reasons she looks so good is that she has her own personal stylist. Reason 4. What was your reason for leaving your last job? Can anyone explain the reason for the delay? The reason for the delay was that our delivery van broke down. The reason why, or that. You can also leave out why, or that. For example. I like children, and that's the reason why I became a teacher. Or, I like children, and that's the reason that I became a teacher. Or, I like children, and that's the reason I became a teacher. We'd like to know the reason why you didn't accept the job. Don't say, she hasn't replied my email yet. Say, she hasn't replied to my email yet. Don't say I apologize for the delay in replying you. Say I apologize for the delay in replying to you. Don't say Lily hasn't replied our invitation, so I don't think she is coming. Say Lily hasn't replied to our invitation, so I don't think she is coming. Reply, which is an intransitive verb, cannot have an object, unless it is followed by the preposition, to. For example, don't say has Jim replied your email yet. Say has Jim replied to your email yet. Unlike reply, answer can be either a transitive verb, or an intransitive verb, and therefore, can be directly followed by an object. For example, don't say he answered to all of my questions. Say he answered all of my questions. Don't say I think you should try yoga, it made miracles for me. Say I think you should try yoga, it worked miracles for me. Don't say this herbal medicine makes miracles. Say this herbal medicine works miracles. Don't say you've made a miracle on this kitchen, I've never seen it so clean. Say you've performed a miracle on this kitchen, I've never seen it so clean. Don't say as chief negotiator, she has made miracles in breaking down barriers between the two sides. Say as chief negotiator, she has performed miracles in breaking down barriers between the two sides. Do not say, make miracles, or make a miracle. Say, perform miracles, or perform a miracle. Or, work miracles, or work a miracle. Work, or perform miracles, or a miracle means to have an extremely impressive effect, or achieve an extremely impressive result. Don't say he robbed money from his employer. Say he stole money from his employer. Don't say they robbed jewelry valued at $30,000. Say they stole jewelry valued at $30,000. Don't say they stole the company of $2 million. Say they robbed the company of $2 million. Don't say, my wallet's gone. I've been stolen. Say, my wallet's gone. I've been robbed. Steal, means to take something that belongs to someone else without permission. Steal a bike, a wallet, jewelry, etc. He stole the flowers from our garden. Thieves broke into the safe and stole everything in it. She was caught stealing food from the supermarket. She admitted stealing the money from her employer. They were jailed for three years for stealing cars. 
Thieves stole paintings worth $3 million from an art gallery. Rob, means to take money or property illegally from a person or place, often using threats or violence. Rob a man, a house, a bank, etc. They killed four policemen while robbing a bank. Daniel was robbed of his car, briefcase, and mobile phone. An 80-year-old man was robbed at knife point in his home. Police said the couple had been trussed up and robbed before being shot. He robbed a bank, stealing cash and valuables worth $500,000. Don't say please remind me that later. Say please remind me of that later. Don't say remind me calling John tomorrow. Say remind me to call John tomorrow. Remind someone of something, or remind someone about something. I'm calling to remind you of your appointment. I reminded myself of my promise. He concluded the speech by reminding us of our responsibility. Could you remind Jim about dinner on Sunday? Jeff phoned to remind you about the party. The girls constantly had to be reminded about their chores. Remind me about my dentist's appointment tomorrow. Can you remind us about your plans for the building? She was tall and dark, and reminded me of my cousin Eva. She reminds me of my first girlfriend. Being on the farm reminded me of my childhood. That song always reminds me of our first date. Remind someone to do something. Remind Helen to bring her laptop when she comes. Remind me to give him this book. Don't say, how much did you pay your car? Say how much did you pay for your car? Don't say, have you paid for the rent yet? Say, have you paid the rent yet? When the direct object of pay, is something that you buy. Pay is always followed by four. Mum paid for my driving lessons. Accommodation is free, all you pay for is breakfast and dinner. If the object is tax, bill, price, subscription, someone, pay is not followed by four. I pay my taxes. Have you paid him yet? I pay my electricity bill by direct debit. Very few people can afford to pay those prices. Most members pay their annual subscription by direct debit. Please pay the full amount by the end of the month. Pay someone for something. We still haven't paid them for the repairs to the roof. Did she pay you for looking after her dog while she was away? Pay an amount of money for something. I can't afford to pay $200 for a suit. My company paid for me to go to evening classes. Means, my company paid my tuition, so that I could go to evening classes. Now, do this exercise. Directions, for each question, there are four choices, and only one of them is correct. Write down the correct answers on a piece of paper. You have two minutes to complete this exercise.
Check your answers. Question 1. A. 4. His sole reason for going there was to see Helen. Question 2. A. That. The reason I want to take that class is that the professor is supposed to be very eloquent. Question 3. C. To ask. The reason I called was to ask about the plans for Saturday. Question 4. B. Has. The number of cars which are stolen every year has risen. Question 5. B. Were. Small amounts of land were used for keeping animals. Question 6. D. To pay. Very few people can afford to pay those prices. Question 7. C. Pay for. Let me pay for the meal this time. Question 8. B. Me of. She was tall and dark, and reminded me of my cousin Eva. Question 9. C. Works miracles. This herbal medicine works miracles. Question 10. D. Reply to. Has Jim replied to your email yet? Well, that's the end of this lesson, thanks for watching. If you like this video lesson, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel.